Hi guys and welcome back to more van cars. Let's fire up. <laughs> oh dear. Really do, really do enjoy the Aston Martin DBS. Anyway, feels like I've not done this in about a week actually because uh, of my uh, obviously kitty problems. What appreciate uh, yesterday's video was a bit of indulgence on my behalf on the app. That's all, but it's, it's nice to remember him in uh, such a way. So, and I don't want to run over a pigeon. So, this morning, what we're going to talk about? Well, I actually don't know, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to make it up on the spot. But as always, I hope it's going to be entertaining for the 10 minutes that we talk together. But anyway, I'm not actually off to work this morning. I'm off to a primary school because I'm actually going to fit my mobile streaming rig or certainly the data part of that within the school because a delivery driver has knocked down a BT pole. If anybody's not um, watching this from not in the UK, we have poles along the street that basically carry the cables to the different properties. And basically a delivery driver has well and truly um, basically destroyed it. And I imagine insert photo roundabout now. Um, so actually to keep obviously the um, kids in the school vaguely entertained or certainly the I want to say important ones that's completely the wrong word but the the key workers students entertained I imagine they are using the internet so I'm lending them my mobile streaming rig to get the school back up and running uh, basically until BT come back out and uh, refit the pole and refit the cables so be all and end all I'm actually off to a primary school this morning what I don't actually often get to do very often nowadays but it's quite nice to get your hands dirty now and again and and yeah i actually really enjoy it as uh, i've alluded to in many of my videos i've come from um the technical background and kind of grown up and the higher and higher you get up in business shall we say um the less and less actual work you seem to do you seem to have more meetings and conversations than um anything else and i genuinely enjoy the technical side of it so um yeah i mean this completely completely non-car related uh, topic but um there, there is um a important bit of my video today so this is actually probably going out more or less is it well, it's Monday now, so it's normally, and this might go out on Thursday, I imagine. Um, so you'll have to excuse me, this is Monday when I'm filming this. We've just had, obviously, the UK announcement about lockdown uh, and what basically this, this means. So, effectively, from my understanding and everything I've read this morning, because obviously each time they make an announcement, it affects how effectively we operate as a business. Um, but my understanding is, basically, everyone can go back to work apart from kind of uh, the entertainment industry so like pubs and things like that aren't allowed to go to work anymore but everyone else is allowed to go back to work is my understanding or, or how i've interpreted it, long as you follow the social distance guidelines and you are now from wednesday allowed to travel for non-work purposes even though you're still not meant to meet up with family members or you're not, still not meant to meet up with family members. What I, I think is a little baffling, surely you can meet up with family, family members if you abide by the two metre separation rule. But I, I believe that is actually the case, but they've said not to meet up with family members because they don't want people sat in the same household. But to meet up in a park, two metres apart, following social guidelines, is okay. So, that leads me on to the big so. That does mean, technically, I can go for a drive. And that also means 
I can potentially meet up with people who are on a drive or indeed go film a drive. So in my, I am obviously going to, this is Monday, bear in mind I've done a little research last night of what papers were about. I imagine we'll get greater clarity throughout the week, but fingers crossed this is looking actually quite good because I should be able to go do some filming and go do some actual decent filming. Now obviously there's a big caveat around this, I am doing my daily drive to work video still, but on the weekends I should actually be able to produce something a little bit more entertaining than staring at my face or staring at a white um, white outside because I imagine the contrast on that camera is still not doing particularly brilliantly. Uh, and that's, as obviously a lot of you have asked, oh, can we have some drive-by shots and things like that? Absolutely, but clearly during lockdown I'm not going to be plonking cameras on the outside of cars that can fall off. And they do fall off, as if you saw a video I did, oh, ages ago. Bear in mind, I'm still learning. This is this is my complete hobby, and this is why I'm hoping a lot of you are enjoying this, because uh, it's a journey for me, and hopefully a journey for you, and that's why I did that video, uh, basically reintroducing the channel and the whole point around the channel. A is the uh, little introduction on the channel page, but um, basically to encourage you to subscribe. Do subscribe if you haven't already. You know, I want to get as many of you involved in Project 2, and the more I talk about Project 2, the more excited I get. Just A, the prospect of you lot playing on my sim, I think is going to be, uh, for me, thoroughly enjoyable. Um, I will get a lot of pleasure, actually, out of seeing in my buildings a couple of my simulators, you guys racing each other, uh, and probably beating me. Um, I mean, I, I am producing another sim racing video because I, I've started playing, is it Assetto Corsa? Because um, I'm finding iRacing very frustrating. Coming from um, the real cars, I'm actually finding it quite frustrating in the way it's interpreting, I think, tyre grip. And I've done a fair bit of Googling around this, and I, I don't seem to be the only one complaining, especially in latter months when real race drivers have started using it to practice so uh, i could be onto something there so i might not be as bad driver as uh, some of you lot make out um so yeah that's that's a separate video i don't know how we got onto that topic but um yeah so but the big thing of this one i should actually be able to go and do some basically decent videos so I've been in touch with a couple of my friends and they hopefully today are going to uh, find out if we can potentially even rent an airfield because if we're allowed to travel for non-work purposes, surely I'm allowed to meet up with a couple of us at an airfield and drive some cars. Now don't obviously get me wrong, we still have to abide by social distancing. So in all honesty, we might even not get out of the cars other than to set some cameras up on tripods and things but hopefully i've got every finger crossed we will be able to do some decent filming so that brings me on to the fact that i want to ask you what would you like to see because i've done a lot of drag race videos with the 488 pista now obviously that in theory should win everything now, don't get me wrong, please don't suggest things that are going to be completely unattainable for me, especially in the current circumstances. But if I can find and source cars that you guys would be interested in seeing, or certainly me drag racing or driving against or doing something with, um, yeah, please get in the pot. Uh, and if any of you lot have got any cars that you think the channel might be interested in and you're willing to allow me to film it, at a socially distant, distanced approach, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you don't mind being two meters away from me and me poking around your motor, please get in the comments below. Because I, this channel is all about open honesty and your involvement. That's the key. That is the number one key. This is a growing community that... Um, Without you guys, this, this community is not going to grow. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm thoroughly enjoying talking to myself every morning, but actually responding to your comments is one of the, um, the, the really enjoyable factors about this. And I thoroughly enjoyed that live stream I did, and hence why I've actually left it up there. I 
I did um, say I was going to delete that, but uh, a couple of you have watched it and commented on it and said you've learned some things. The fact that I'm on the search for a, uh, not a CGT, but an, uh, I don't know why, but oh, I keep thinking about CGTs. I've got to get that out of my head. Commented the fact that I'm actually on the hunt for a uh, 918 um, Spider. Well, I, I mean, if you followed me on Instagram, PhilDix89, I think you would have probably worked out the, the 918 Spider was certainly on my um, top of my list at the moment. I think that's certainly, I think that's a good car to buy at the moment, if I'm being honest. I really, really do. The, it's modern enough to tickle my fancy, um, but classic enough the fact that I think it's depreciated no more than it is ever going to now. Um, I, again, the only problem I can foresee being with the 918 is the battery but again i'm going to make a whole video series about hunting for something of that value because it is not as simple as just going to find the car running it through your finance you know three days later they're going fine there's uh, well they pay the dealer there's the car it is not as simple as that and i didn't realize that um you know to how good or whatever i am in general business but me I didn't understand that. I genuinely didn't understand the level of detail um, that basically needs to go into sourcing, level of detail the finance company wants to know. And uh, yeah, it's insane, actually, absolutely insane. It's not always about finding the cheapest or most expensive or, or, or whatever. It, uh, it's quite involved. Um, so as I've always said, I have put feelers out there. Obviously, if you know somebody with a 918 that wants to get rid of it, please do slide into my DMs. I'd be greatly interested in that. And actually, I've only ever sat in one once. So if there is one in a showroom somewhere, um, please let me know. I've had a search online. There's a couple. I think there's one at Tom Hartley at the moment. It's not and That's not the right spec for me. I've already spoke to a finance company about that. Um, but yeah, if you're aware of any more, that would be really greatly appreciated if you could get in the comments. So yeah, that's probably enough for today. I feel I'm overly excited by the fact that I might actually genuinely be able to go out for a drive now. Um, and hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday, I might actually know in more detail whether this is possible. So there might be a pinned comment below this saying, scrap this, this video is absolute garbage. What well, I'm praying, I'm seriously praying it is not garbage and the fact that I'm able to go for a drive after Wednesday because that would be insane, absolutely insane. Uh, as, I've alluded, as I've said, I think in the, the video that went out last night, so Sunday, um, some garages are starting to open up a little bit more. I didn't mean open up to the public in the sense you can go wander around. I'm really missing that actually. The social aspect of buying these cars and the relationships you build up with the people selling you them, um, I am genuinely actually missing. But um, they are opening up in terms of service. This is now booked in for a service and to look at um, the exhaust on it because I think the tips are starting to rust. I'm not sure if I've done a um, photo of that, but that might be a video in the next couple of days. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited basically, over the moon the fact that we might actually be getting out of lockdown. So um, on that note, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching guys. Really hope you're doing well. Take care and uh, I'll see you again for plenty more videos to come. Bye bye guys, see you later.